It's going to be a great Saturday with our first ABC Prime game of this week. And as of today, the Warriors are second in the Western Conference. And while there's so much positivity and excitement surrounding Golden State this season, January, it's been a little bit of a rough month for the Dubs. In their last 10 games, they're 43.3% in field goals. That's the third worst in the NBA. And of course, the most recent bright spot was Clay Thompson's return. The Warriors, they're two and four in games Clay has played in since he came back. And for more on Clay, I want to bring in our Warriors reporter, Kendra Andrews. So Kendra, yesterday you tweeted that Clay Thompson is questionable against the Mavericks with knee soreness, but what's his status? Well, Malika, Clay first started experiencing that knee soreness on Sunday during the team's walkthrough ahead of their game against the Utah Jazz. And this is the same knee that he had surgically repaired after tearing his ACL in Game 6 of the 2019 NBA Finals. Uh, he also did not practice the other day, though I did see him on the stationary bike and by the squat rack. Now, Steve Kerr said that there's nothing to be too concerned about regarding Clay's knee, and holding him out of Sunday's game and practice yesterday was out of abundance of caution as they bring him back off of that two-year layoff. As you said, he's listed as questionable tonight against Dallas, but whether or not he plays, his knee is something we're going to be monitoring very, very closely. Yeah, absolutely. And whether whatever Steve Kerr says, whether or not he's too concerned, whenever you hear surgically repaired knee and soreness, there's a little bit of concern that comes up for Warriors fans. But what's been the biggest adjustment for the Warriors in working Clay back into the flow and rotation? Well, there's two areas of his game to really watch. The first is actually his dribbling and ball handling, which is a little bit ironic. He's been doing that more than he ever has before since returning. Now, Steve Kerr said that this is in part because the last time Clay Thompson played, he was playing alongside Kevin Durant, mm. one of the most prolific ball handlers this game has ever seen. And right now, the Warriors are also without Draymond Green, who is currently their best facilitator. So Clay has been picking up some of the slack there. But he also said, Clay said, this is a way that I can get going and get into a rhythm. He knows that he has the strength and the ability to dribble and drive to the hoop, possibly draw some contact and go to the free throw line. So until his shot fully returns, he's going to use this to get a rhythm. The other area is his defense. Malika, before he was injured, Clay was one of the most elite two-way guards in the NBA, and his usual defensive assignment was to take on the opponent's best wing. So take tonight's game against uh, Dallas's example. You would expect to see him go up against Luka Doncic. Steve Kerr said that whether or not Clay plays, this job tonight is going to be reserved for Andrew Wiggins, mm. who has been defending the other team's best wing for the last year and a half. And even after Clay Thompson comes back fully and after his defense is up to speed expect to see Andrew Wiggins stay in this role I asked Andrew what kind of potential is there for you and Clay to be an elite defensive tandem and he said it can be so great because they can continuously hound their opponent all night long he said it's going to be something very special well and watching Andrew Wiggins ascent with the Warriors this season has been something that's been very interesting to watch Kay thank you so much for joining us here on NBA today that's the news part of Clay's knee but for what it actually means on the court hey JJ what can you show us yeah, let me preface this, this entire segment with acknowledging that I am not a doctor. Uh, You're I am not a doctor. Not a doctor. <laughs> You're not a doctor. I do know, however, that the ACL is responsible for stability in your knee joint. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And look, basketball is not a linear sport. We're not running in straight lines. Or, Clay's not standing still. Gonna I was going to say, we move oh, in a three-dimensional plane, frontal, oh, sagittal, and transverse. All right, all right. Okay, the, so the Warriors' wow. offense is based on movement. So yeah. they love to play out of the post and uh, run split action up top. Mm -hmm. Never seen So if, if Perk's got it up there. <laughs> That's a stance. Perk. I'm running I'm running split split action up here with RJ, and he top locks me. What am I planning on? I'm back cutting here. Oh, let me get a lay. Oh, let me get okay, a lay. Okay, okay, back. Get all right. Go. Here we okay, go. Obviously, Clay loves catch and shoot action. Again. RJ's in a lock and trail. I'm coming off perk again. RJ decides to shoot the gap. Oh, Where no. am I planning? Watch again. it, Jay. And then the oh. there. Oh, right, I don't go. know if I can make this. Go oh, in. Come on, go, let's don't be scared. I'm oh. afraid. It's and all it's, good. It's, it's, so it's, it's all the person that that ball. But look, it's all good. This, these actions happen on every possession for the Warriors. They, they, they require movement on offense. He's constantly having to move and load in different planes. And, and, and that's hard to do. I think it's to be expected. Yes. that he's having some soreness in his knee. Well, and the other part about it that I think is very, very key is that what you said, everything is constant movement. He's not a stationary three-point shooter. So the fatigue that comes from
from back to back games playing most but and even the the work that you have to do to condition mm -hmm. yourself to make those shots for 48 minutes for an overtime for a double overtime you are pushing your body to the brink so it is expected like perk you've experienced no, knee soreness no, you've torn an acl no i have like? and it's all about your workload right so i always tell people you can work out as much as you want but until you get in those game situations, you really don't know what your body can handle. Mm -hmm. And I think Clay came out and he looked great. And all of a sudden he like, hold on, man. Like, <laughs> man, this, this speed a little different. Like I'm chasing people. I'm also playing both ends of the floor. So it's going to take time, but he'll be all right. Here, here's, here, here's something I, I, I'm very curious about. It's oh. how they manage his minutes. Yeah. Because I, I would almost look into maybe t starting with him off the bench. Yeah playing him maybe for a longer stretch or bringing him back in at the second quarter. But right now, he starts, he plays his run, and then he sits for like 30 real minutes. Yeah, and then we're talking about an ACL and an Achilles. We're not just talking about one injury. So yeah. there's so many biomechanics that come with that, making sure. But we got our guy. Where's our guy Miles at? <laughs> hey, let me get a game in, man. Oh, okay, let okay, me get okay. a game in, man. What's going on? We got our guy Miles here. We're going to talk a little bit. You guys know him from Blackish. He's going to stay here. He's going to do some breakdown. He's going to do some clips with us. Are you okay? We're going to talk about it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.